Hey guys, Sean Clement here again from the Richmond Hill Golf Learning Center. And today we have a fabulous awareness exercise so that you can feel exactly how you're going to allow the arms to swing through the ball and to the target. So the arms will collect the ball and send the ball to the target without you even trying. You're just going to allow them to do so. But you need to know how it's all going to work, right? You need to feel how this is going to work. If you don't feel it, then you won't be able to allow it to happen. Okay, so first thing you guys are going to do, you're going to take a hammer. Grab a hammer from your little toolbox. And what we're going to do is we're going to simulate hammering into a door frame. So I'm going to use my club here as a door frame. And this is going to have several purposes, all right? So number one, when you set up to a door frame, you're going to put the door frame in the center of your stance, get your head behind the door frame, and you're bracing slightly against the left side. So 60% of your weight is up against that left side. I want you to feel that you're going to be hammering a three inch nail in one shot into this door frame. Now, if you had the choice, would you use a light hammer or a heavy hammer? Obviously, you would pick the heavy hammer because we're not pulling and pushing the hammer to try and hammer that nail into the door frame. We're going to feel the weight of that heavy hammer and we're going to heave that heavy hammer back and we're going to use the weight of that hammer to slam through that nail, right? So you'll notice that a couple of things are going to transpire. Number one, the body starts to get out of the way. This is all arms. This is a lot of work. This Boom! Now it feels like I'm using the weight. Also, when you're using your hand to hammer the nail, the body doesn't move, the weight doesn't shift, there's no clearing of the hips, nothing. However, if you use the weight of the hammer, notice the weight, how it's shifting into my forward side. You will naturally feel the weight shifting into that forward side, bracing your body. So if you miss the door frame, you got something solid that's going to you know, catch you, right? So it's heave, bam. Now let's look at swing plane. If the nail was higher up on the door frame, like a driver, notice here, see where the hammer's going to my backswing? Look at that nice arc coming back. I'm not pulling the hammer way behind me. I'm gonna bend the nail this way. Now, if I want the nail to go straight in from there, I'm gonna have to come around and use my arm, right? But if I, out of the way, bang, out of the way, bang. Now, the wedge, the nail's further down, out of the way. Now look at where this hammer is now. It's supported much more above me. It feels now, if I just let it fall, it's gonna fall right into that nail without any physical manipulation from my arms or my hand. So up, boom, just like a horseshoe, up. Swing, bowling, boom. You'd never take the bowling ball behind you there. I wouldn't want to be in that aisle if you're bowling next to me, right? Out of the way. So now that you feel how you're using the hammer, let's remove the door frame. Let's see what happens when you take it back and you let the weight of the hammer come through and there's nothing in the way. Ooh, wait a second. Did I just feel my right hand turn over? You wouldn't instinctively do this, would you? Well, that's what you guys are doing, trying to manipulate the ball in a certain direction instead of allowing the arms to swing in a certain direction with the ball being collected in the way of that swing. So now if I just let it swing, well, look at that. You'll notice how my right hand is facing you, and then when it releases, it's now facing me. You'll see it release in this direction right here. Watch it in slow motion right now. See what I mean? So it's a natural release right there. So now if I take my golf club, remember the fishing analogy? Holding the club right at the bottom of the shaft right here, casting my fishing pole, casting my fishing pole with the weight of my arm fishing pole unit. Here we go. There it is you can see that nice release of the hand. So now, reverse it the other way, put a ball up against the door frame, hold the club exactly in the same position you normally would where your right hand is, set up to the door frame, 
feel like you're going to be using the weight of that arm club unit to hammer into the door frame. Notice where my hand is? Look at that. My weight, my hips are clearing, everything's clearing. Boom! So I'm using the weight of that arm club unit to do the work. I wouldn't advocate you do that in your, in your home though. <laughs> so, but you'll feel exactly what it needs to feel like. So now, if I remove myself from the door frame and I make a swing, there's that release. Oh, there's the release again in the backswing. There's the release again in the follow through. So you notice what happens to my right hand when I just let the weight of the club swing it. There's a lovely hinge going back, lovely snap coming through. So you can feel that on the range. You take a couple of shots, set up to the ball, nice posture, and just feel like you're going to use the weight of the hammer to hit the shot. And you'll feel how the ball is getting in the way of that weight. You're just going to hit a few shots out there 50, 75 yards. Now when you put your left hand on the club, you say, okay, now my right hand is, you can really feel the release of that right hand. You go, okay, if the left hand was on the club, what would it be doing? It would definitely have to turn over, right? So now if I swing towards you, Notice how my left arm, my left forearm is rotating out of the way. I feel the right hand do exactly the same thing as it was doing before. And now I feel how the left arm has to respond to that and snap out of the way. So you notice the face of my watch facing up, facing down. Snap. Just like in baseball, just like in fishing, just like hammering a nail into a door frame. All right? So get out there, get to work with the hammer, feel the same thing in the golf club, feel the same thing in your fishing cast, and then start to put the ball in the way. So when you're looking down on the ball, this is really critical now. When you're looking down on the ball, you are looking for the feel of that release. What did that feel like again? Oh yeah, that nice snap. Well, where does the ball have to be to be in the way of that? Well, look at that. It snapped right here and it skipped right there. So the ball should be right at the back of that skip mark. Okay? Put the ball in the back of that skip mark. What did that feel like again? Feel the weight of that hammer. Heave the hammer. Feel that snap. Perfect contact. And all of a sudden, you start feeling the release of energy out toward the target, like in my ridiculously easy video. Okay? So now that you've massaged the action to target, well, start picking your targets. We're going from there to there. Okay, what does that feel like again? Oh yeah, snap in that direction. Allow it to go there. And that, if you go back to my um, um, alignment tweaking, well, you can see the support column here behind the net. Right now it feels like the right arm wants to snap to the right of it. Well, I'm lined up to the right. Right now it feels like the right arm wants to snap to the left of it. Yeah, definitely lined up to the left. Right now it feels like it's snapping towards it. Oh, fantastic. Is that where I want to go? Yes, good. Put a ball down, let it go. Enjoy that, we'll talk to you soon. Get on my forum, let's talk about this. This is really important stuff.